Hey, what's up guys? Malt here, and um, let's finish off this map before it takes way too long, you know? So I really don't have that many people left. I mean, I kind of outlined what my plan was on the last, the end of the last episode. We're gonna be uh, trying to get a task force in here to kill Claude, and I'm gonna hopefully give the kill to Flame. Because Flame would like the level ups, I think. And uh, we already murdered some people over here. Nobody really needs a heal as far as I know. So Hilda can die now using Dimitri. I'll move Dimitri into the healing spot. Alright. You never had a chance. I need to move someone to get that chest as well, which is basically gonna be Ash, so. I'm gonna have Ash run over here. So I'm making his way there. The dude doesn't need I mean these guys are both level 16. She needs the XP the least, so I don't want her to kill anybody. To do is alright, I suppose, as my option. It's either I give it to Do or I give it to Ingrid. Alright, who has less HP? Actually, Ingrid won't die if I move her here. Because of her crazy resistance. Orphia won't be able to do much. I did what I had to. So that should be fine, I suppose. Okay. So I'll just keep you here. Yeah, it's gonna do nothing because she can't even reach apparently. I didn't expect that. We'll have Ash start heading towards the chest. Doing his best. With the chest. Dimitri can't handle this, so. I don't know if Dimitri can handle Archer shooting him. Going here attracts two of them. So is going here attract one of them? Looks like they have a perfect crossover wherever they attack. That's fine. Luigi can probably handle it. Thanks. Huh, thanks. Oh, if I go over here, I get shot immediately. Okay, let's not do that yet. Ian really working that ballista real well. Thank you. Yeah, and good, you can finish it off. You weren't ready. Oh. It's not a tractor just yet. I didn't mean to press that, but I, I guess that was a misclick. Misclick of a lifetime. Ah, you should, you should be fine, Dimitri, even if you get hit by all of these. You, I mean, you, show, you, still, you should still try not to get hit by all of them, but, um, you know, either way, it's not too big of a deal. Yeah, yeah, can you kill her lance? That's good. Is that all? Bom, 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 bom. Getting strong. Yeah, we're getting some good ass speed, that's for sure. Oh boy, look at this, Luck jumping back. Always fun. Okay, so here's what I'm worried about. Him dying really quickly from a cast of spells. So he has 17 speed, 8 resistance. Okay, so he has 17 speed and he'll... Okay, so yeah, 8 resistance and 13 protection. So I won't... Okay, I won't double. And I do like... Yeah, he should be fine to be the attractor. Yeah, that's fine. I, I do want this to happen as best as possible. So 
ever so grateful. Okay, um, let's throw these guys. I think this is basically useless now. I have no one to hit. So I can have Mercedes start moving in. You guys are just basically waiting. Or I don't know, I can actually start attracting over uh, Edelgard, honestly. Who do I want to give Edelgard to, though? Maybe Mercedes. Yeah, Mercedes. She's the lowest level here. I'll have to try to attract Edelgard with alert stance, though. Let's see how this goes. Hmm, pretty scary actually. I forgot that I should have probably checked to see that she was wearing a tomahawk. Oh no, times two? I really miscalculated. Not good enough. I wanna redo that. Sorry, but it's about I wanna redo that. I think I can afford to redo that. Let's not move Felix where he moved. I'll go. I mean, l let's do it, but let's not let him uh, Thor on back like that. Let us away. Here goes. Oh, lovely. I'm ever so grateful. I'm on it. Here we go. Stay focused. Ready. Oh, hopefully he doesn't like kill me this time or something. Yeah, how's it gonna go this time? Still get hit by that, that's fine. But now I shouldn't kill him. Yeah. How come I have that much range? On my oh wait, that's just a regular wait, why would he attack me at that range with a long bow? Saw that coming. Saw that coming. Alright, now let's see if I can somehow get Flame to kill Claude. That would be very impressive, I think. Hmm. Oh wait. Ever so grateful. This is my chance. There we go. They say experience beats growth. I mean, resistance is fine, I suppose. You can just be an armor knight. Sorry, but it's about time I make my exit. The rest of you, please finish the job. Alrighty. That corner is fine. Um, who do I want to give this kill to? I want to move Mercedes over there. So that she can participate in this fight. I need to get should Ingrid out of here. Yeah, you should. Yeah, probably should, honestly. Is he gonna die? 30 damage? He'll be alive, but uh, barely. Holy crap, man. Thanks. I'll cut through. <laughs> Over already. I'll give it my all. Yeah, you do a lot of damage. Yeah, at least get the bonus XP. What should I do? Yeah. That's very painful. Yeah. All right, how much damage can I do, Mercedes? A whole eight? A whole 12 with waning. Okay, so can I get you down to that damage? 
Yes. Let's keep punching her. Keep punching her. And now, I just need to hit this winning shot, and it should be good. Okay, 2% chance to miss. Not bad. Get sniped. Mmm, Mercedes, your stats are looking spice. I'm sorry, but I must retreat. You should have no trouble winning. <laughs> Don't give up. Edelgard's just talking to Linhard there in the corner. You can win. Don't give up, dude. You got this. You got this. And the whole battlefield is empty except for us. You got. Don't worry, Linhard. You got this, man. Well, I guess I'll have to use the physics for this, even though you're just a corner away from me. Ready. Ready. Well, we're all coming for you, Leonard. Who is going to have the final blow? I mean, I would like to have Flame do it, but she's so far away. Let us away. Actually, is Annette even lower level? I think Annette needs to kill, honestly. But they're still- they're like across the entire world, man! Do I really want to like spend a billion turns trying to get Annette over there? Four moving at a time? Nah, you gotta forget it. I'm just gonna go kill him. That's better! Alright, let's give the kill to... I don't want to go to Mercedes, I don't really care. I need to get this map out of the way. Damn it, damn it. Damn it! Not over yet. That is the end of this year's Battle of the Eagle and Lion. And the winners are Better be me. The Blue Lions. That's us. We won. And judging by our performance, I'm certain we have earned the prize as well. Yeah, we kinda kicked everybody's ass. What do we get for that? Mm, Dimitri's the MVP. I basically tried to kill nobody with myself, but I think I did kill like two people in the beginning. But that was unavoidable, I suppose. My thank you so much. All right, let's see what happens. I remember there being some cool stuff well happening. Well done, your princeliness. I'm certainly not in any hurry to get on your bad side. I assumed you would attack us head on. I clearly need to rethink my opinion of you. Well done, Dimitri. You both deserve equal praise for a battle well fought. All, don't you agree, Professor? Whoops. They were nothing. <laughs> Should I say that? I feel like Dimitri will be pissed at me if I do that. Honestly, both of them sucked. Both your houses sucked. Alright? Let's just be honest here. It only seemed that way because of the caliber of your command. <laughs> oh wait, Even Dimitri now, actually liked that. We must not allow ourselves to become complacent. In any case, I hope the day never comes when we have to put this experience to use. I wouldn't mind. I'll accept a challenge from either of you at any time. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Are you? That is nothing to joke about. The true battle of the eagle and lion is best left in the past. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they eventually change the name of this mock battle. I hope so. How admirable, Teach. On that note, I have a proposition. When we get back to Garrig Mach, let's have a grand feast to break down the walls between our respective houses. And by a grand feast, I mean a fairly regular feast in the dining hall. You really value that kind of thing, don't you? <laughs> well, I suppose no harm can come from it. Count me in. I have no objections either. And you, Professor? I'm looking forward to it. You look so happy. 
I love seeing you like this. I suppose that look on your face is just another boon from this glorious day. Perhaps the best one of all. Damn, Dimitri. You got the smooth talk going, eh? I'm so charmed. I had a wonderful time today, Professor. <laughs> As usual, I was astonished by how much you ate in the name of celebration. Really, though, I must thank you again. Our victory in the battle of the eagle and lion was thanks in no small part to you. Thanks in no small part to you? We all did our part. Yes, that is true. But it was your instruction that allowed us to reach our full potential. I feel silly admitting this now. But when you first came to lead our class, you unnerved me. You never smiled and you never showed anger either. And yet, you didn't appear to be suppressing your emotions. They just weren't there. At first, I thought perhaps you just didn't care for us. But I soon concluded that wasn't the case at all. For the longest time, I just couldn't tell you. Oh, look, she got a sadder face on. It was though you had no humanity whatsoever. <laughs> that stings. And now? That stings. You're different now. In the half year we've spent together, I've seen the glow of humanity in your eyes and in your actions countless times. I am truly grateful to have had the chance to spend this time with you, Professor. Getting cozy, are we? Mind if I cut in? That's enough, Sylvain. Oh, please. <laughs> I would love to join you as well. I have so many things I wish to talk to you about, Professor. Oh, me too. I have so much to tell you. And I want to thank you too. Honestly, Professor, I was only able to achieve so much because you were with us. It's true. Ash is right. You're irreplaceable to us, Professor. Aww. Yes, that. Without you, the Blue Lions... Well, we wouldn't even be the Blue Lions at all. Except for the blue part. <laughs> because we'd be sad. I suppose there are worse and that's so cute than too. fighting at your side. I have had the opportunity to experience wow. much. Please allow wow, me to Felix. offer you my gratitude once more, Professor. Felix, you sure are soon today. <laughs> as you can see, you have our trust as well as our admiration. I look forward to spending the rest of the year with you. As do I. Good. Then let's give it our all this year. Anyhow, it's getting late. We had better return to our quarters and get some rest. I can only call your deeds during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion quite versatile. Comparing versatile. against their performance at the mock Battle of the Great Tree Moon, the students have grown significantly. It is clear that this is Ten a level result significant of your In appreciation of your efforts and to show our high hopes for the future of your students, I award you with this. What is Please it? continue to instruct your students as a model teacher. So, what is it? You've made good use of all my power after all. I would have been upset if you had failed at such an easy task. It pains me to assign such a disturbing mission to you during such a blessed moment in time. Wait, what mission? However, next month your assignment will be to oh. journey to Ramire Village to investigate an abnormal occurrence there. Ramire Village? If I recall, you've been there with your father many times. A normal occurrence? I have yet to ascertain the details, but it would seem the villagers have been acting strangely. I have already dispatched the knights to verify the authenticity of this information. They should be okay. back shortly. I suggest you begin by finding out what they have discovered. Okay. I pray this is not a bad omen. Me May too. May the goddess protect you all. Remyer Village, huh? Ooh, a blessed lance. That's it? You can just buy that from the store later. God damn it. Been bamboozled once more. Oh, okay. New chapter, Part The Flame one. in the Darkness. White clouds. Red wolf moon. The Flame in the Darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike. And an icy wow. chill, blown in from the north of Fargus, blankets the land. 
All so it's super snowy. All the creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. It's the winter? Sun I bet. The I really wish the monastery... Every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters wow. can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. I really wish that these weather things actually like affected the monastery. Maybe that would have been like too much work, but come on. They got already all this other cool stuff down. Why couldn't they do something like that? Obviously, there's got to be a cutting off point or else the game will never come out, but it would have been cool. I think, anyway. Loading times, loading times, loading times. Five thousand dollars. Wow, I got a lot of money. I better start spending it all in one place. That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no mm. absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. How slim we talking? Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. Oh, this is what happens. This is what that's happening in a Ramira, right? that varied. There are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Ramira Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my! If it isn't Gerald, tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything. After you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease, my child and I owe the people of Vermeer Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Vermeer Village. After all, I owe you my life, if you'd like. I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. That's nice of you. Professor! A bit of a tease, are we? A girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try, but I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. You can't even S support manual like can you? As what a girl? About you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the knights. Okay, we'll do. Oop. And hey, dead. what's wrong? I just got a little dizzy. If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Ugh. What could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. Oh. Could this be your doing? Making us feel dizzy? How dare you? Oh. We just go straight to instructing? Okay. Sure. Sure, why not? You know what? Let's just auto instruct. Actually, I kind of wish I didn't do that. that out well. Sunder, eh? It's not for like armored people. That worked out pretty well. I have a question. What's your question? Magic is not my forte. Being a gifted swordsman, I think the, my time is best spent practicing swordplay technique. Why should I waste time attending lectures just to improve my magic skills from mediocre to average? Hey, <laughs> about that. Knowing magic will make you a stronger swordsman. I see. Idiot. <laughs> I'm be I believe I'm better suited to fighting, to healing rather than fighting. No. Support? Wait, what is this? I see. So you'll be Ooh, staying there. here for some time then. Who are you? Honestly, I'm surprised. I've heard it's been a few years since you last donated to the church. That was merely because of the financial Arundo. situation of my territory. I assure you it has nothing to do with my dedication to the church. Wasn't this guy like an evil guy we saw in a cutscene recently? By the way, Dimitri, isn't Edelgard currently enrolled at the Officer's Academy as well? Yes, she's in the Black Eagle House. I don't believe she has any plans to leave anytime soon. Why not pay her a visit? I may do just that. It's nice to stay in touch with my dear niece every now and then. 
Of course, I'm also delighted that I was able to speak with my nephew as well. Whether through marriage or otherwise, family is family after all. Interesting. They're all connected, huh? I didn't realize that. Does that mean uh, they're cousins? Of course. The feeling is mutual. Professor, if you were watching, you should have made your presence known. Who was that? That was Lord Arundel, the regent for the Empire. He is also Edelgard's uncle. Oh. He called you his nephew. My stepmother was his younger sister. We are not related by blood, but he is technically my uncle. Oh. So you and Edelgard. Yes. My stepmother was Edelgard's birth mother. Oh, wait, so Edelgard and Dimitri are step siblings. Edelgard and I are siblings by marriage. We can delve into that topic another time. For now, let's make preparations to investigate what's happening in that village. Oh dear, the princess of the empire and the kingdom's prince are kin. How very odd. That's a, I did not know that. That's actually really cool. Interesting. So that's why he was... Wait, why would I find it odd? Yeah, I mean, it kind of. So that's why he was worried about her. All beings are attached somehow to those who are their family. Yes, even I. I must have hmm. had a family too. I wish I could remember them. My family. I wonder who and where they are. And what they're doing now. In any case... About this Arundel, you've heard that name before, correct? I have. Wait, was it in the office of the library? I don't remember. The library? Quite true. We came across that name within the library, right where the prince had been. I thought that Arundel had died. And yet, not so. He seems alive and well. I wonder what the prince had hoped to learn from reading of his uncle's charity. So many things the prince has yet to tell. How bothersome. He must be suspicious of something. Things are starting to get, uh, spicy in the storyline, huh? Starting to learn things I didn't know from, uh, from my Golden Deer run. Okay, okay. Whose birthday is this? Linhart? Screw Linhart. There should be no problem. Right. We will make this quick. It went well. Wow, that went more than well. That went perfect. I've got it. Ooh, you learned recover? That's actually really useful, Felix. Good job. That's like a really big heal. A really, really big heal. I need to check something real quick before I uh, continue. Nope, still not. Oh, but she's close to start. She just needs to get axe skill up, and then she can finally become this. This beautiful creature. We probably have like supports and stuff, don't we? Yeah, we got a few of those. But let's gonna play. We're just gonna play it safe, and we're gonna call it here. So thank you guys once again. Hold on, wait. Let me just. Uh, thank you guys once again for watching. If you guys like the video, please leave a like down below. It means a lot to me. And yeah, we're going to. Do an exploring episode next, so I'm gonna do a lot of this, uh, you know, organizing my inventories and shit, and then we're gonna start off the next episode with supports, I think, and then we'll do some exploring and see what's happening at, uh, Ramire Village. Things start to hit picking up here. If you guys don't know, this is where the story definitely starts picking up, so look forward to that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!